detachable whole tooth dies on prepped or no prep veneers. Let's show you how to do this in under five minutes. <clears throat> the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is actually open the case as a mock-up and you know just call it 3D print. And I actually like to um, make the arch that I want the detachable dies as the antagonist. The opposing I'll make as a mock-up and I'll remove the connectors and I'll start the case. Now I'm going to leverage the power of the new ExoCAD's 3.2 AI tooth segmentation feature. And specifically, I'm just going to really quickly load the lower and upper jaws here. And in this case, in the upper jaw, I have a combination of prepped and no prep veneers. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start tooth segmentation, and I'm going to go ahead and hit start auto segmentation. And this is a new feature in ExoCAD 3.2 that leverages the power of artificial intelligence as it relates to tooth segmentation and identification. So here we can see this is my upper arch, and you see a combination of no prep, min prep, and aggressive prep veneers. The software automatically identifies the teeth that I had selected as the antagonist in this case, in addition to that, it's going to now segment each tooth out automatically. Now, I am not going to edit the segmentation, even if it's not perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and power through the wizard and get all the way to the end. So I'm just going to hit next here. And once I get to the final merge part here, I'm just going to go ahead and go to uh, design model. So here we could see right here at the very end, I'm going to go to design model and hit next. And so now we're in the model builder tool and really the first thing that you want to do in this tool is hit the drop down menu, menu and hit plateless model and then alter the height of your model. You just kind of drag that slider. Now on the left hand side here, select the teeth that you want to be detachable dies. The software will remember the kind of segmentation algorithm here, but it takes you tooth by tooth so that you have the opportunity to edit the segmentation line. And usually it's just spot on perfect. However, there's some teeth here that I just need to tweak ever so slightly. For example, tooth number eight here. And I wanna actually extend it past the margin ever so slightly here so that when I have a detachable die, it includes the margin and a little bit of material apical to the margin. And so I'm just clicking those um, edit balls and just dragging them into the retracted sulcus, as you can see there. I'm gonna do that again for tooth number 10, but the remaining 10 teeth it just got perfect so it kind of nailed it and if you need to add another control point you could just simply click the line and so this is kind of what we get here so i'm just going to go ahead and hit next and the re the, re the remainder of the teeth even the no prep teeth here like the premolars were perfect it's awesome and it's just really cool to see this feature available and so now you pick the path of insertion of those dies and so i'm just going to hit set from view from more of an incisal edge down position right here. And you could select the parameters of your dies as it relates to spacer and all the kind of normal die controls that you have in ExoCAD. And here we go, it automatically segmented out those teeth and created these phenomenal little dies. And now the software is thinking and it's gonna go ahead and create a hollow model for me that's gonna be 3D printable and perfectly fit these detachable dies that um, is the result of the AI auto segmentation. So here we go. That is just so cool, guys. I hope this helps you in your big veneer cases. I know it's helped me tremendously. And the power of the AI segmentation really saves time from having to select each individual tooth.